The first television show that I did was a show they put together called Hayloft Conservatory of Musical Interpretations. And uh, that was their hillbilly, the answer to their hillbilly music, which was very popular then. What did, what did you do on the show? What did I do? Um, it was mostly, it was mostly music. There was a quartet that sang. There was usually two square dance bands and square dancers. Um, and just almost like anybody else that walked through the door said, by the way, can you sing or play? And if you could, they put you on the air. But what I did as a 15 year old is I sang my first song and I had a week to learn it. And it was in October of 1947. And the big hit of the day, and it was number one, it was even very popular on the, what they call the pop charts. It was called One Has My Heart, The Other Has My Name. Written about a guy that who is married but in love with another woman. And as I look back on it, I was 15 years old. What did I know about one has my heart, the other has my name? But that was, that was the song that I did, and I'll never forget two things. There was at least a thousand butterflies in my stomach. It was all I could do to breathe. It was just... And if there was a picture of me then, I knew I looked like I was headed for the gallows. Just mortified, I'd scared absolutely to death. And the other was the heat of the lights that it took to light that for the cameras. And um, you couldn't stay in tune. And it really, I think, may have done a little physical damage to people who uh, were on the show if you had a health problem. Because that heat, you, it, you, you found yourself uh, getting your balance together because it was just a, incredible, incredibly hot, and uh, you couldn't stay in tune. You'd hit a guitar and you could hear it go out. You'd hit a chord on the guitar and it'd go, it, first stroke, it may be in tune. The second one is, and you could just hear it going out of tune. But uh, you didn't have anything to compare it with. I mean, we were doing television, you know, made your mama proud. And everybody, she'd tell everybody in, in the neighborhood that I was going to sing a song on this night. And not too long ago, I opened a banjo case. Lord knows I hadn't opened it in years and years and years and never paid any attention to it. Lo and behold, in the bottom of the case was a little rundown of one of the shows we did in 1947. And all it was was a typed list of who was going to... Oh, and the moderator of the show was Dr. Abelnacki. And he introduced. And we were known as, because my dad and I played together, and I was always embarrassed, Roy Clark and Dad. Why wasn't it Hester, my dad's name, or Mr. Clark and his son Roy? I always felt intimidated that they would put me first, Roy Clark and Dad. Doesn't work that way. You know, but it, uh, that was the beginning.